so what we will discuss today today i will show you how to uninstall a connector so let me take an example let me go to my manage connector in order to show you how many connectors i have so if i will search so let's say let me take an example i am simply going to uninstall this particular connector any it's valid these steps are valid for any connector so i already prepared one document for you you just need to follow it what you need to do actually you simply need to go to a file which is called connector uninstall properties and you have to edit that file so where is that file in the idem home okay in the server win just you have to go there so i already written the steps so rather i will just type i will simply copy paste it so it will save my time so let me open a console over here let me restart okay so let me paste it and let me open the file so here is the file so in this file you have to mention all those steps let's say database url you have to mention example.com dev oim all those things oracle where the logs will go and name of the connector so what is the name of the connector so it's this one so i will simply go into insert mode and it's very easy actually just let me simply copy paste the things okay and the version version is this one 11.1.1.6.0 uh 11.1.1.6.0 is already there come down yeah it's done so when you are done with this what you have to do you simply need to set up one environment variable which is related to something called weblogic home because if you don't set it will give you a notification you have to set so better let me set it before and now what you have to done you simply need to run uninstall connector dot script okay so what what i'm going to do let me first quickly go to this location here let me copy cd and let me paste it okay so here you can see there are multiple script out of this scripts you have to run uninstall connector dot sh so where it is uninstall you can see uninstall connector dot sh okay and the file which we just edited the file was connector uninstall property it is also here uh, it is connector uninstall properties and after setting this you need to simply run uninstall connector dot sh okay so let me quickly run this dot slash uninstall connector dot sh so when you execute this it will ask your database password let me give you oracle one two three as my database password okay it's asking enter the admin name so it's zilsys adm zil sys adm and zilsys adm password i given the password and here you need to provide the url in the format so it's t3 colon slash slash example dot com colon 14000 let me hit enter and here it's asking if it is a web logic you have to type web logic jndi context factory that you have to type here so let me create some space and paste it over here and hit enter so that's done after that it will uninstall the connector for you okay it's asking yes or no let me hit yes okay so you can see so generally it give you a message it has been uninstalled successfully but let me verify it is uninstalled or not so let me close this so let me come over here let me go to the manage connectors but this is the general step which you have to follow okay so it's still uninstalled but actually these are actually the real steps you have to follow in order to uninstall the thing so let me quickly verify the file which i edited so vi connector uninstall dot properties and let me verify once the things jdbc oracle thin example at the rate example dot com dev underscore ym oracle there should be any location you can give not an issue for that name of the connector name of the connector is flat file connector and version is 11.1.6.0 that is fine let me paste it back okay if you go down these things you don't need to pass okay so after that you have to set these things and you have to run this again 
so let me run it back db password okay let me follow the document which i had prepared just now uh, zilsys adm let me copy paste zilsys adm let me give the password okay after that you have to uh, type t3 example.com like this okay okay i had typed or what happened it's uh, asking to type it okay it's asking to type it again in the format okay let me type t3 colon slash slash example.com colon 14000 okay let me type better web logic dot jndi dot wl initial context factory let's see it's connected to database asking do you want to continue to connect an installation yes i want you can see it's trying to delete the resource and yep so okay resource object deleted successfully so most of the operation it has been done it's also telling few messages over here so while installation of this particular connector i face some issue that's why we are getting the error otherwise everything is fine these are the actually the steps you have to follow for your connector so i hope it's given you clarity okay how it works okay guys so what after that after that you have to run this utility delete jar.sh and running is very similar so i'm not going to show you which i already run so after that in the step 6 when it will show the connector has has been installed so post step post uninstallation installation step that you have to have to perform that for 100% clear uninstallation so first of all you have to run delete jar.sh when you run this utility it's going to delete all those stuffs let's say it's asking you uh, let's say jilsys adm like this uh, like all those stuffs here the most important thing is enter the type of jar okay so here let's say let's say it will it's ask the enter the type of jar so for my case it was flat file okay let me give arrow so you will have understanding so <coughs> so in my case enter the type of jar so what i choose i choose was four i choose four okay and after that let me just make it into the type of jar here like this so it's it will ask you enter the type of jar so i just given the type as 4 okay because mine was icf bundle but again it it will prompt you something when you enter the type of jar uh, let me show you okay when all the things will work properly because uh, yep then it's going to ask you enter the name of jar to be deleted from the database okay that's a question so how you get that enter the name so in my case the name was this in my case the name was this bus it this name will vary how you get this name in order to get this name you will get this name from here okay just simply from this table you just run this query over here and here you will find the name here what is the OGA underscore name it will be your name you you can understand by the creation date okay in my case I already done this so just simply use this table okay in order to get the name select star from this okay just run this query to get the name okay name of jar name of jar okay you have to run this particular query that's it again let's come back to the agenda so after this you will get some kind of message like it has been uninstalled successfully okay it has been uninstalled successfully okay then after that you have to run this one resource 
also you have to delete post insulation so again you have to run this one let me mention over here delete bundle resource okay or resource bundle again you everything will be common uh, nothing need to be worry about but here you will come a step where you have to mention the resource bundle type okay how how i will get that so let me just take it here you have to mention resource bundle type so for my case it was a connector bundle okay not a custom resource so i just picked this one and after that it will ask you something enter the name of the connector bundle that you want to delete okay again it will ask enter the name which you want to delete so for my case the name was this a property file where i just put all the resource detail okay flat file generator dot property this is a file which will be created how you get that you have to run this query select star from resources so when you run this particular query you will get the information in this resources table so you have to uh, filter it by date modify date by today's date okay and just copy paste the name so you have to run okay to get the resource name to get the properties file properties file what you have to do simply you have to run this command okay now come back after that when you run this successfully okay and after that you will get deleted resource is successful that's it that's the steps you have to perform so post deletion step i can say it's a, a and post deletion step i can say it's a b so the these post deletion steps you have to perform that's it okay so first how many queries you have to run it's very easy first you have to modify this particular properties by uninstallation property file then you have to uninstall using uninstall connector script then delete jar script okay then delete resource bundle script that's it these three things and fourth one the most and very important step is take restart of oem server take restart of oem server or use purge utility so take restart restart of oem server okay so that's very important so simply what i am going to do now i'm just simply going to take restart of my oim server so example.com for my case is opened here and here in the control section is oim and simply i'm just going to shut it down yes so it's for shutting down okay task has been completed let me select it and let me let me refresh it back okay it's shut down let me select and let me start it yes so that's it that's the step you have to perform you have to restart your oim server after that all the things will be working fine so this is how the uninstallation of connector is done using these following steps okay guys so just keep in mind there is a property file connector uninstall dot properties you have to set some environment variable like app server before running this uninstall script and after that post deletion you have to run delete jars okay and there is a oim jars table from there you will get the details and delete resource bundle there is a resource section from there you will get the details okay so i hope it and make you some sense okay and take the restart of server take the restart of server that's it so that's all about how to do the operation on uninstallation of oim connectors